Back now on Try It Today, I always like to welcome my good friend uh, on the show here who uh, brings us up to speed on what's going on with higher education, and uh, let's, let's see him right now. Lori Bates, our director, the Honorable Dr. Elwood Robinson, Chancellor of Winston-Salem State University. Welcome again, sir. Thank good, you, Jim. Good to see you. Always. How come I don't have a RAM pen? You always have a RAM pen. I'm going to get you one next time. That's well, we'll just stop tape right now until you can go. No. Yeah. Uh, you recently had something called Giving Tuesday, and I don't know what that is. Giving Tuesday is a national campaign that was started, I think, in response to Black Friday and Cyber Monday. There were a group of people that say, well, let's do Giving Tuesday. So it's okay. a national campaign. And so we started uh, being a part of that last year. That was our first year, and we were just kind of getting into the giving business on Giving Tuesday. We had about 157 folks who donated, and we raised $7,300. So Giving Tuesday is giving money to charitable organizations, you know, and so it's just you you making contributions to charitable organizations. And That's 150, what it's about. how many? That was last year. Last year. This year, we had 564 people who made contributions, and we raised $35,000. For charities? For charities. Lord. Yes. That's a huge increase. And we'll use that money for scholarships. Uh, did social media play a role in this year's uh, event? It, it played a huge role. We had folks on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram. We had students getting involved. We had networks. We had fraternities, sororities, alumni all join in in this huge network to say, we got to keep giving. we got to keep giving. And it's a 24-hour period. That you have to give the money. Now, you know, but these kids, by and large, because it wasn't, well, it's been 100 years ago since I was a college student, but I know I didn't have any money in college, and you struggle and whatever, and yet they're giving money. They're, they're scraping some money to give to others. What does it say, that's how successful your campaign was, what does it say about the character of your student? I think it says a lot. I remember when we, I came on the show a while back and I told you that, that um, about 250 freshmen gave uh, before they took their first class. So we're trying to create, and I think we're doing a good job of creating a culture of philanthropy and giving back, and our students are buying into that. And it's really refreshing to see in this young generation. I want to do two things while we still have some time. I want to look back, and I want to look ahead. Mm -hmm. So let's take a minute or so to look back. Uh, 2015, what are some highlights of the year? Quick look back in, in 2015 has been our social mobility index. When we were ranked number seventh in the country in providing access to Folks who come from under-resourced families, they come and they get a good, high-quality education. Seventh in the country, 930 schools were ranked. That's important. It tells a story about what we're doing. And the other is being number one in job placement for our seniors in the UNC system. That's powerful. Oh, man. Accessible, accessible education and successful education because they're getting placed. You can't get better than that. All right, let's take our remaining time to look ahead. Uh, not, maybe not just to 2016, but even beyond. I know you have a strategic plan in place, and you've put a lot of things out on the table. Give me a couple minutes' worth of what's coming up. A couple things that are really exciting about 2016. One, you just mentioned the first one. That is our new strategic plan. Where it will go before the Board of Trustees uh, tomorrow and Friday. It will get voted on, and we'll roll that out beginning in January. It charts a new course for Winston-Salem State University in terms of how we educate our students preparing them with 21st century skills, thinking skills, communication, collaboration, teamwork, all those essential skills for the 21st century, that's in that new strategic plan. What will happen also in about March, voters will get a chance to go to the polls to vote on a $2 billion bond for North Carolina. A billion of those dollars will go to the UNC system. 50 million will go to WSSU in a brand new science complex. Oh my Lord. And, and, that's, and it's going to help UNCG. It's going to help a lot of schools. It's going to help all the schools in the system. Everybody gets a piece of the pie. So we're encouraging voters to go out on the 15th and vote yes uh, for the NC Connect bond. Well, I just, and the other thing, very quickly, in terms of January is giving. Uh, we're raising dollars for our athletes. Two major events. She's got a cover, a classy hat affair, where ladies can come and dress up and, and wear their fancy hat. And the other is uh, for raising money for our male students, and that is with Stephen A. Smith. He's going to come here and work with us. You said you were going to try to get Stephen. You're going to let here. me know when he comes? He will be here. I, I'd like him here, too. Well, you we'll think you can get him here? I'll see what, we'll we, see. Can, I'll see what we can do. On, sc <laughs> on, screen, is, uh, on screen is the website, wssu.edu. So many things going on, so many successes this year under Dr. Robinson, Chancellor Robinson, and so many coming up. We're always here. Happy holidays and good year. Happy holidays, Jim. Yes, sir. We'll be right back after this.